Good evening. I would like to welcome you, the proud parents, grandparents, and other family and friends to the seventh commencement ceremony of Berea Mid Park High School. For the class of 2020, it represents the culmination and celebration of the accomplishments they have achieved over the past 13 years. Although our staff are unable to be a part of our commencement this evening, they send their congratulations. Please welcome Senior Class Advisor Jeff Fidelli and selected members of our Senior Class Executive Board for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Fidelli and members of our Senior Executive Board. It is my distinct honor to introduce our first speaker this evening, Senior Bridget Sattel. Friends, family, faculty and staff, and my soon-to-be fellow graduates. First and foremost, I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of you. I was originally going to open this speech with a quote from that one episode of The Office where Dwight starts a fire and locks everyone inside and Michael runs around screaming, oh my God, okay, it's happening. But that kind of felt on the nose right now. Yeah, I drafted this speech a while ago. I know this day isn't what any of us expected when we started in August, but it's what we have. And I'm glad that we all get to share this together. I don't know about you guys, but personally, I refuse to let these last couple of months define my entire high school experience. Besides, this isn't the first time the class of 2020 has drawn the short straw. As soon as we left the middle school, formerly known as Middleburg Heights Junior High, they fixed up the cafeteria. They even fixed that one hole in the wall that had been there forever. We have never technically won Clash of the Titans, even though our hallway last year was the greatest of all time and nobody can ever deny that. We were robbed. We had to watch them build the new high school that we will never get to use. So yes, I am extremely upset about prom, our chance to redeem ourselves at Clash, and the fact that this is on a screen. But it's nothing that we aren't used to. We've handled everything else life has thrown at us. What's one more challenge? Not to mention, not every part of high school was bad. We've learned so much of academic nature and otherwise during our time here. And we were lucky enough to chance upon the people who supported us along the way. It feels like just yesterday I was a stupid kid building forts in the woods and skinning my knees trying to do dumb tricks on my bike. You can't deny that you've grown as a person, at least a little, during your time here. We've all come a long way. Every game, every meet, every match, every time the band absolutely killed it at halftime, taught us lessons. Every club, every homecoming, every performance and assembly, everything the choir ever started with a beautiful rendition of our alma mater brought us closer together. From homework to finals to end of course exams, we learned, we changed, we made memories and connections and decisions about our futures. This school has shaped us and changed us in ways we never could have imagined. I know our current situation isn't something that any of us are used to, and yeah, it can be pretty scary. But I will not allow almost four years of hard work and good memories to be ruined by fear and uncertainty, and you shouldn't either. Speaking of fear and uncertainty, Let's touch on the kind that normally accompanies graduation. This moment is probably the last time we will all be in the same situation together. From this point forward, we all follow our own paths and make our own decisions. Yeah, yikes. 
Although we might all be going in different directions after today, different than what even we imagine for ourselves, we will always be a part of this school and always carry a part of it with us. Now, unfortunately, I only mean metaphorically. Granted, I would have taken a little something to remember BMHS by if the situation allowed for it, but, you know, regardless, all of us, each and every one of us, found something here that we could never find anywhere else. We owe a part of who we are today to this school and the lessons it taught us. The class of 2020 will always be a part of Berea Maid Park history, and it will always remain a part of ours, wherever our paths lead. A lot of things have come and gone during our time here. In the past year or so alone, we've witnessed the end of a decade, the end of our high school careers, the end of our childhoods, and the end of any semblance of a sense of normalcy. I don't know if it's just me or that voice in my head that kind of sounds like every English teacher I've ever had, but that's at least a little symbolic, right? Now, you could take that as a bad omen or think you're cursed or something. It'd be quite easy to do, actually. Or you could see that for what it actually is a motivator. If I'm being completely honest with you, I wasn't going to write this speech. I had one drafted and prepared that I've been steadily compiling ideas for since like midway through freshman year, but it didn't fit. Nothing could ever really fit the situation that we're in right now. But then I remembered all the unforgettable experiences and beautiful souls that I might never get to see again. I remembered a dream, a kind of silly dream actually, but no less something I wanted more than anything that a younger me had to give this kind of speech, to write something like this. I remembered the school that had watched me learn and grow and I realized I couldn't give up. An ending is never just the last thing, and it's never as pretty and flowy and tied with a bow as the movies would have us believe. An ending can only ever be a new beginning if we move on and make something of it. Plenty of things are going to end, even when we don't necessarily want them to. It's just how the world is. But we don't have to take an ending for what it seems and we can use it to make something new. I don't know what happens next. I don't think anyone does really. What I do know is that, I, is that if I don't someday eventually get a tour of that new school, I will riot. I know this moment is not how any of us expected to end our time here. I know some of the things we've been planning or strategically procrastinating for the past four years are going to have to change. I don't know what happens next, but what I do know is that we are strong enough to overcome it. Each and every single one of us has done something they didn't think was possible during their time here. For me, there was more than one something, knee surgery and public speaking, to name a few. This is just another something. What comes next might seem impossible to face, and we might never see the normal we're used to ever again. And that's okay. I mean, it's obviously not ideal, but it's going to be okay. Because you've done the impossible before, and I know that you can and will do it again. I'd like to thank you all for the time and memories we, sh we shared, and I wish we could have shared some more. Here's to the future, to new memories, the kind you might have to make on your own, and to doing the impossible once again. Congratulations, everybody. 
I wish you the best of luck on your future endeavors. Stay safe and thank you for your time. Bridget, thank you for speaking on behalf of your class. Selected senior members of our core department will now sing our alma mater under the direction of Ms. Novak. <laughs> Good afternoon, parents, guardians, faculty, and the class of 2020. In case you don't know who I am, hi, I'm Summer Hussein, and I went to Bria Mid Park High School with you. 6,120 days ago, my journey in the Bria City School District began. I walked into the middle doors of Parkner Elementary School, excited to make new friends and explore the world. To wear my Tinkerbell book bag like it was Gucci, and to show off my brand new pencils my mom had packed for me three weeks in advance. I was prepared to learn my shapes and numbers, to have the 100th day of school, and to have multiplication contests with the fourth graders. But before I knew it, Parkner Elementary School was making tie-dye t-shirts to wave the building its last goodbye. 4,320 days ago, I walked into the brand new doors of Grindstone Elementary School with the smell of smensels in the main office. We are the kings, I thought, the kings. I expected to learn new things, try finishing the entire Junie B. Jones book series, and get through all of the Magic Treehouse books before anybody could spoil them for me. What I didn't expect was for everybody to start coming out of their shells. Lily Henry would become Willy Wonka in our play of the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and Zach Zelesnik would be Charlie, while the rest of us were either Oompa Loompas or a privilege to be dancers. We all received our very own recorders that year. While others were getting their black belts in karate, our fourth grade class was getting black belts from Mr. Chapman. I also didn't expect to be given responsibility. Miss Mellon allowed different students to care for Digger and Lucy, her bunnies at the time. Slowly we learned to care for one another and be responsible. Before we knew it, we were moving on up to the middle school. 3,960 days ago, we went from kings to peasants at the bottom of the middle school food chain. Fifth grade was spent trying to learn our brand new big kid instruments. We were either the band nerds or the orchestra geeks, but we were all excited to learn something new and to explore something so foreign to us. We quickly realized that four minutes was not a lot of time and that if we stopped in the hallways, one of the big kids was gonna scream at us. We went to Camp My Broby and never thought that we would become the counselors we looked up to. We were like flowers. With every passing grade, we got showered with more knowledge and we began to sprout. 2,520 days ago, our high school career began. Our freshman year will forever be like no other. We weren't known as freshmen, we were the kings of the junior high school, ready to tackle the big bad wolf, high school. We didn't know what we were doing. All we knew is that the trifecta kids didn't know why they chose to be trifecta kids, and there was something about a code on zoo. I never really found out what the code on zoo was. Our freshman year was spent exploring all the new ways we could learn now that we were considered high schoolers. In my honors algebra one class, I was able to apply the math we learned to real world situations and to get questions asked I never thought needed to be answered. For instance, one day we spent a whole day discussing the logic of parachutes and Abby's question of whether or not you could turn off gravity. What I realized was we were the pilots to our own education. If we had a question, it was up to us to make sure we got it answered. An unknown author once said, don't let your schooling get in the way of your education. It's not about what you learn or how you learn, but about what you're learning. So chase after your passions and your curiosities. Don't hold back. Look up that question you've been thinking about and share your new knowledge with others, because knowledge worth knowing is knowledge worth sharing. 
For us, sophomore year was our freshman year. We were finally in the high school building. We were freshmores, the classes of a sophomore with the status of a freshman. It was a year of keychains and the clattering of keys on the ground. One by one, kids started getting their driver's license, showing up to school with Dunkin' Donuts coffee in their hand daily. It was also the year most of us were taking biology. We learned that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, and we finally understood what a codon was. But we also learned that life was ever-changing. If life stayed the same all the time, it would be boring and uneventful. Continue to change and grow. Chase after what might seem to be impossible and make it possible, because only you get to decide what you cannot do. Junior year came too fast and too slow all at the same time. We walked to the doors excited to finally beat upperclassmen. We prepped for our AP and college classes, not ready for the year of complaining those classes would bring. We challenged ourselves to push our education beyond its limits and began to explore the world outside of textbooks. We started becoming team captains and presidents of our clubs. We were ready to take our education head on until we bumped into chemistry, the class all students failed. Teachers could pinpoint the juniors in their class by the polyatomic ion cards they held in their hands, frantically signing for the big test 11th period. While chemistry was feared by most, it also taught us an important lesson. Life isn't about the ingredients you are given, but how you choose to react to the ingredients given to you. Life's going to come with struggles and obstacles, but you can either persevere and conquer or you can sit in the storm. Our senior year is not what we thought it would be. The seniors that started off the year saying, we're the class of 2020, we've got vision, or we can see the future, y'all need to go see an optometrist and get your eyes checked, because none of us saw COVID-19 taking over our senior year. We started off the year frantically remembering that we should probably fill out that scholarship and turn in all of our college applications before the deadline. We continued to push ourselves socially and academically in hopes of making our last year as a high school graduate a memorable one. From the marching band playing Bohemian Rhapsody at their last game, the orchestra allowing Branding Hoff to become Mark Wood for our Oktoberfest, and the continual feud between biomed and engineering students and all of the senior nights in between, we continue to make our last memories at Bram Mid Park a memorable one. COVID-19 made this world spin into a complete frenzy, but we made it on the other side and we didn't do it alone. Thank you to all of the teachers that continuously pushed us to work harder and to explore more. To the teachers that believed in us even when we didn't believe in ourselves. To the teachers that taught us beyond our textbooks. To the teachers that continued to assure us that our high school year isn't lost to COVID-19. That we could beat the disease by staying home and not losing hope. To the teachers that spent hours on their computer waiting for their students to ask questions just so they can answer. To the teachers that treated us like their own and cheered us on when we succeeded. I speak on the behalf of the class of 2020 when I say we couldn't have done this without you. Thank you for devoting your lives to helping make sure we can be successful. And to the parents and guardians, thank you for always being there to listen to us complain and to calm our meltdowns when we procrastinate on projects and just don't know how we're going to finish them the day before that's due. Thank you for being our personal cheer squad, cheering us on from the sidelines and rooting for us even when we're down. I want to give a special thank you to my parents for showing me what true hard work is and that despite my doubts, I could be anything I wanted. They are the very definition of perseverance and persistence. They proved to me that I could break the stereotype and make a difference without having to be a doctor or a lawyer. And a special thank you to all of the siblings out there for cheering us on when we were felt defeated and roasting us when we succeeded. On the behalf of the class of 2020, thank you to all of the parents, guardians, and families. As we continue on this journey called life, it's important to remember to be kind, stay motivated, and the dress code is in effect each and every day. Mr. Ruggiero must have added that part in. Back to what I was saying. Be kind, stay motivated, and continue to be the change you wish to see in the world. We are the future, and we have the tools and knowledge to make the world a better place. Bria Mid Park High School is not the same place it was three years ago, and that's because of us. The more knowledge we gained, the more we made the school our own. We took charge in making sure BMHS will continue to be a welcoming and exciting place to learn even after we are gone. 6,120 days ago, our journey in the Bria City School District began, and today it'll come to an end. Through all of my years in the Bria City School District, I never expected to have my family grow to include 459 more people. The class of 2020 has traveled through the most buildings in this district, but as we moved up, we embraced the change, and in the process, embraced each other. We were no longer the Panthers, Bucks, or Bears, but together we became the Titans and set the legacy for those who will come after us. Like Troy Bolton said all those years ago, once a Titan, always a Titan. So I'd like to thank the class of 2020 for being part of my journey. Together, we survived all of the school jumping and middle school merging. We even survived the great toilet paper shortage. 
Together, we grew up and influenced each other more than I ever thought possible. So thank you, the class of 2020, for being part of my story. And these were your last announcements, Bree and Midpark, class of 2020. I hope you have a terrific and thunderous Thursday. Summer, thank you. At this time, it is my honor to introduce our Board of Education, President Anna Chapman, Vice President Corey Ferris, Board members Mr. Steve Dockman, Mr. Jeffrey Duke, and Dr. Neil Postel. Each year, we honor the members of our graduating class who have chosen to serve our country by entering the military. Please notice the names in this year's graduating class who have enlisted or will be enlisting in the military. We sincerely thank you for your service. At this time, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce Superintendent Mrs. Tracy Wheeler for her graduation address. I am honored as the superintendent of the Berea City School District to address the Berea Mid Park High School Class of 2020. As a former high school principal, it truly breaks my heart that your senior year ended the way that it did. This is not how it was supposed to happen, but you absolutely deserve this moment. Even though this is not the graduation ceremony that you or your families envisioned, you must reflect on the sacrifices that you have made and know that your sacrifices have truly made a difference in the lives of your family and friends. You may not realize it now, but when you look back on this special day, you can take solace in knowing that the sacrifices you have made for the past two months have helped save lives. Life doesn't always go as planned, but your resiliency will make you stronger in the end. Thank you for your sacrifice. Even though there is no traditional ceremony, we are all proud of you and no one can take everything you have accomplished away from you. You are closing up a chapter in your life and starting a new one. Your hard work has not gone unnoticed. Focus on the good, the positive, and your accomplishments. Find a way to celebrate this achievement and embrace the challenges you have faced. You entered this world during a time of great tragedy with the events of 9-11. That tragic event revealed true heroism. You leave your K-12 education during another tragic time. This time, you are the true heroes. You are all destined for great things, so go and be a hero in the world. Take advantage of the opportunities that come your way and then make the most out of your life. You may not realize it now, but difficult times help mold the person you are to become. Remember, this is only a detour in your long journey in life. Things happen for a reason, and life as we know it will return. You will, once again, go to be with your friends, hug your family members, and most importantly, go out into the world, pursue, pursue your dreams, and make a difference. This is not a time to be sad over the loss of milestone events. It is a time to reflect and make the most of opportunities that you have been given. Treasure the memories and dream all that is to come true for you in your journey. The Bria City School District has prepared you for your future, and I have no doubt that you will leave your mark. Find ways to celebrate, be happy, and savor the moment. So, the class of 2020, you did it. You are kind, generous, selfless, and I can say with absolute certainty that the world will be a better place with you in it. You make a difference. Congratulations, Berea Mid Park Class of 2020. Be kind, be humble, be bold, be courageous, be the best version of you, and always be a titan. And now is my chance to talk to the class of 2020. Each graduating class has a story who they are, and what they have done during their time together. And this year's class is no different. This group has moved a lot during their careers, from building to building. And you're finishing your high school career during a pandemic. However, the moves in the last two plus months are not the real story. The real story of this class is perseverance. No matter what obstacles you have faced, big or small, you have persevered, and you are willing to preserve. You can accomplish anything if you continue on. And this is the real story of the class of 2020. In closing, the class of 2020 has done amazing things during their time here at BMHS. As a high school staff, we are proud of your accomplishments and look forward to your future successes. As you move on to the next chapter of your life, do not forget the lessons you have been taught by your parents, teachers, coaches, and other role models in your life. These lessons will serve you well and will allow you to add the next chapter in your story. Congratulations to the class of 2020. It has been an honor to be your principal. Mrs. Wheeler and members of the Berea City Schools Board of Education, 
It is my pleasure to present the class of 2020 for the conferring of diplomas. By the authority vested in my position by the State of Ohio and the Board of Education, I attest these seniors have completed all graduation requirements and are ready to receive their Berea Mid Park High School diplomas. At this time, please welcome Board President Anna Chapman as she will address the senior class. Maya Angelou once said, in the latter years of your life, your happiness and your self-esteem will be determined by the mountains you surmounted, the valleys you climbed out of, and the life or career that you forged for yourself. You, the class of 2020, has certainly had its shares of obstacles and disappointments, but you made it through. You've accomplished one of the major early milestones of life, high school graduation. This is a big step in your life journey, one that should be recognized for its extreme importance. I'd like to offer you some advice as you move forward in your journey. Speak your mind and stand up for what you believe in. Spend time with your family, because whether you believe it or not, you will miss them. Call your mom, or at least text her. You don't need to know your major or career goals right now, so don't let anyone tell you that you should have it all figured out. Step out of your comfort zone. Learn how to make your own doctor appointments. Exercise your right to vote. Don't let your room get to the point where it looks like an episode of Hoarders. Call your mom. Travel. Volunteer and help others when you can. TikTok videos last forever. Don't worry about what others think of you. The only thing that matters is what you think of yourself. Wear flip-flops in the dorm shower. It doesn't matter how cool you were in high school. College and life are completely different. Learn how to go to the post office, buy a stamp, and mail something on your own. Call your mom. Understand that you are entitled to nothing. You must work hard and earn your successes. Make a lot of new friends and be the type of friend you want to have. Be honest. Not sure about something? Ask questions. Screwed up? Own up. Wash new red clothes separately. Don't try to fit in. Be proud of standing out. Remember, every moment is an opportunity to learn from everyone around you, no matter their title. College professors and bosses don't accept notes from your mom. Everything you put on social media will follow you long after the likes and retweets. Call your mom. Everyone feels awkward at times. It's just that some people are better at hiding it than others. Remember where you came from and the people who helped you get there. And finally, in the words of Ellen DeGeneres, follow your passion, stay, to, stay true to yourself, never follow someone else's path. Unless you're in the woods and you're lost and you see a path, then by all means, you should follow that. Thank you and congratulations. Dr. Smithberger, on behalf of the Berea City School District Board of Education, I accept these students, each of whom has completed all graduation requirements as 2020 graduates of Berea Mid Park High School and the Berea City School District. The Berea City School District and Berea Mid Park High School congratulate 2020 graduate Nisreen A. Abdullah, Michelle Marie Adams, Shane William Adams, David James Eshelman, Ali Omar Al Rusan, Mario Joseph Albarino, Rabal Al Halabi, Leah Talisman Allen. Stephanie Lynn Allen. Victoria Hillary Alsip. Hannah Elizabeth Amrich. Joshua Albin Andrews. John DeCovney Ansack. Margaret Lynn Antolovic. 
Sienna Rose Appel. Jacob Brian Appleby. Josephine Abigail Armstrong. Laura Nicole Artuso. Giuliano Richard Baz. Bo Gallagher Bacci. Christina Elizabeth Bacci. Lauren Danielle Bade. Tyler Matthew Bear. Gwendolyn Akira Baker. Zachary Nicholas Banazak. William Paul Barnes. Lauren Elizabeth Bechtold. Remus Alexander Bellew III. Maureen Futabai Bender. Thomas Daniel Berenson. Brett Austin Berrigan. Elizabeth Winter Berent. Elizabeth Grace Bertalan. Victoria Marie Bethea. Charlie Veronica Bachara. Ashley May Boldelvet. John Patrick Bonsi. Skyler Freedom Boyce. Regan Noel Bradish. Sean Patrick Bradway. Dana Renee Brayford. Devin Scott Brandt. Tristan Anthony Breda. Christiana Lynn Schwendler Root. Reagan Nicole Reservoir. Bridey Shannon Bricker. Michelle Lynn Bring. Dylan Ryan Brooks Arnett. Cassandra Alana Brown. Larry J. Brown. William Isaiah Brown. Zachary David Brown. Emily Kathleen Marie Bruce. Lydia Elizabeth Breyer. Alicia Sandra Butner. Kelly Ann Bonner. Marin Cynthia Burke. Alyssa Trinity Burke. Kaylee Joy Butler. Triana Luce Marie Butler. Aaron Joseph Butcher. Jared Eugene Kaczynski. Chase Justice Byrne Crosby. John Joseph Callahan III. Susanna Faith Calvis. Rebecca de Gondorilas Calvo. Maxwell Richard Carey. Antonella Marie Carpio Polanco. Haley Alexandra Carroll. Jonathan Cartagena. 
Spencer Ryan Cardi Joshua Patrick Carver Lauren Elizabeth Carver Raymond Joseph Caton Noah Jonathan Cavanaugh Amy Lynn Chambers Michaela Elizabeth Chambers Gianna Lee Chapman Connor Thomas Chamura Daciana Teresha Clark Michael Joseph Clark Sir Glenn Cofield Brandon Joseph Collins Emmanuel Louis Cologne Ariana Mur Cologne Fuentes Corey Hickson Conroy Jenna Elizabeth Cooper Christian Xavier Cordova Jasmine Danielle Coy Asma Bent Cozart Paul Lambert Pressman Casey Claire Cummings Jordan Caleb Cupack Dylan Lee Cutter Courtney Nicolina Diachilli Anna Rosemary Louise Dasick Natalie Anna Davis William James Daly Jr. Amandine Darden Anthony Paul Davis Alexis Marie Davison Caden James Dees Samantha Elaine De Jesus Dominic Anthony De La Rosa Noah Thomas De Marco Mary Lynn Demeter Jessica Lynn Damaris Liam Coulter Dial Annalise Elizabeth Dickinson Nathan Allen Dill Giuseppe DePiro Kayla Josephine Doran Anna Louise Dursick Brant Joseph Eckerfield Amber Lynn Ellis Jonathan Arthur Arison Shura Alexandra Ermakov Nolan Michael Eschuk Colin Christopher Fazio Devin Tyler Fenor Allison Young Farini Jonah Lennon Fields Andrew Kenneth Fivet Joshua Robert Finkovich Colin Edward Finley Sean Patrick 
Finnerin. Aaliyah Marie Fisher. Brogan Alexander Fisher. Olivia Cheyenne Fisher. Bianca Marie Fitzgerald. Lauren Alyssa Flair. Kyle James Folds. Gavin Austin Fouts. Angelina Marie Franks. Kaylee Lynn Frost Perez. Hannah Rose Fuller. Juliana Simone Galarza. Alexander Ian G. Gowarv Amit Ghosh. Cody Michael Gilmore. Stuart Allen Graham II. Rihanna Marie Green. Ashley Diana Marie Green. Nathaniel John Green. Addison Gianna Marie Griffin. Nicholas David Gazowski. Joseph Martin Gyorock. Chloe Allison Hall. Savannah Janae Hall. Dalton Russell Haney. Mackenzie Faith Haney. Matthew Dennis Hansen. M. Afnan Abdul Haq. Michaela Ananda Harris. Molly Francis Hausler. Zachary Michael Hausman. Michael Anthony Haynes Jr. Angelique Marie Henderson. Lillian Margaret Henry. Jordan Pamela Hinman. Elizabeth Claire Hinton. Eric William Hockemeyer. Elizabeth Veronica Hockenberry. Brandon Lee Hoff. Logan Lee Hoon. Gracie May Hoosier. Faith Alexandria Hunt. Travion LaShawn Hunter. Summer Mohammed Hussein. Eden Michael Husney. Michael Stephen Wayne Hutchins. Najwa Hawana. Sarah Hawana. Erica Joy L. Infante. Chase William Ivancic. James Thomas Jackson Jr. Ryan James Jakubski. Kiernan Thomas Javorski. Juliana Kalkub Jessri. James Anthony Johns. Taya Katherine Johnson. 
Julianne Augusta Johnston. Emily Victoria Jones. Logan James Jones. Megan Elise Jones. Mason Shea Call. Simon Jonathan Canaris. Lindsay Marie Corrales. Cameron Michael Karlowitz. Alexandria Marie Kyle. Jacob Alfredo Kennedy. Aiden Michael Kerr. Sarah M. Kessel. Daria Vladimirovna Kremkova. Justinia Ashley Kinsey. Robert Michael Kirby. Jada Michelle Kirk. Benjamin Grant Kittleberger. Dylan Michael Klein. Natalie Elizabeth Napik. Brandon Jonathan Knoll. Allison Lynn Koblitz. Newt Conline. Benjamin Anthony Komar. Vincent Trayvon Kopp. Anthony Evan Katula. Daniel Ryan Katula. Morgan Elizabeth Kreck. Zachary Allen Price. Ryan Joshua Kudladi. Edward Michael Kustra. Dylan Joseph LaForce. Luke Allen Lamarca. Cheyenne Emily Laney. Anthony Emmanuel Lanigan. Sydney Michelle Lantau. Tan B. Lee. Jackson Jesse Leggins. Dane Lineweber. Nicholas Thomas Lettinen. Kirsten Janet Lisi. Megan Ann Lovell. Dominic James Loichik. Jeremiah Lozano. Abigail Claire Lubowicki. Benjamin Patrick Lubowicki. Caleb Steven Laskowski. Ariel Julia Lyons. Jonathan Patrick Lyons. Zachary Lee McDonald. Haley Marie McFarlane. Shale Alexis Magnani. Seja Amin Malki. Mallory Rose Radetsky. John Frank Mania Jr. John Thomas Marshall Jr. Noah Mitchell Martin. 
Ashley Page Martinsik. Nicole Rose Martino. Madeline Joy Mason. Kelly Ann McCarthy. Autumn Veronica McConnell. Brian George McDonald. Aaron Jing Rose McGinty. Mackenzie Joe Ireland McGlynn. Edward John McGowan. Luke Adam McGuire. Olivia Marie McJunkins. Sandra Jean McKenzie. Haley Nicole McKinney. Bailey Elizabeth McShane. Cameron Lee Mead. Emily Meadwell. Bailey Lynn Medvitz. Caitlin Brianna Meyer. Frank David Miller III. Hannah Elizabeth Miller. Ryan Joseph Miller. Taylor Ann Miller. Michaela Rose Minard. Mary Angelus Miranda. Abigail Jane Mishler. Samantha Nicole Morgan. Nicole Rebecca Dawn Morris. Ethan Christopher Morrow. McKenna Nicole Molinax. Gianna Marie Mullins. Emily Marie Murray. Sierra Lynn Muscatello. Brianna Giovanna Naro. Eric Daniel Nickel. Carter Patrick Norris. Mia Ashley Jewel Novagrady. Alexander Jean Nowakowski. Corey Rachel O'Donnell. Matthew Dennis Oravets. Sydney Alexis Ostrander. Danielle Nora. Otto, Abigail Olivia Owens, James Nakta Pahulu, Julia Marie Palsisco, Julian Lewis Parsons, Amber Nicole Patton. Ashley Marie Patton. Andrew Jean Pelfrey. Catherine Marie Parati. Bradley Evan Perrier. Haley Elizabeth Peruchin. Daniel Perry, Joseph Edward Perry, Naya Minnie Lee Perry, Elizabeth Rosa Viorica Pesci, Erica Jewel Paterka, 
Zachary William Peter Kosky, Olivia Grace Petri, Timothy Austin Fenning, Madison Hope Phillips, Horatia Michaela Pitts, Cole Spencer Pochedley, Justine Dana Porch, Joseph James Posniak, Ashley Elizabeth Pratt, Justin Cole Prescott, Jocelyn Michaela Price, Daniel Thomas Pridemore, Matthew Willis Priestley Jr., Rebecca Page Crudo, Antonio Rafael Pruitt, Michaela Avery Diane Puzak, Francisco Ramon Quintana, Lily Alice Rambo, Joseph Richard Ramick III, Rachel Danae Ramirez, Serena Ramsami, Jacob Michael Ramsey, Caitlin Marie Randolph, Benjamin Paul Rector, Allison Teddy Reed, Benjamin Joseph Reedy, Olivia Hogan Wrench, Zachary Quinn Reynard, Joseph Louis Reinert, Jose Ramon Rivera Jr., Lizelli Jasmine Rivera, Jeremy Stephen Roberts, Megan Elaine Robertson, Jamel Alexander Robinson Jr., Salvatore Donatello Rocco, Jared Thomas Roden, Cooper Allen Roth, Annalisa Irene Rogers, Brianna Lynn Roherick, Kiera Ashley Sabino, Jarrett Peter Sadie, Spencer Joseph Sadie, Nicholas Edward Psalm, Dominique Marie Salvo, Kiera Terry Sanders, Samantha Lee. Sanderson, Bridget Rose Satow, Anastasia Oleksandrivna Savchenko, Aiden Brian Scanlon, Dylan Jacob Scherer, Katrina Alexandria Shoy. Dean Michael Schlater, Harry Dallas Schlater II, Ashley Schoenhofer, Riley June Shane, J. Shea Nicole Shelton, 
million, Razek, Shown. Kyle, Joseph, Sankiewicz. Cameron, Jeffrey, Siggers. James, Owen, Simonson. Audrey, Marie, Simpson. Kayla, Marie, Singleton. Emily, Dawn, Sluzars. Brooke, Elaine, Smith. Mariah, Ann, Smith. Simone, Hallie, Marie, Smith. Zachary, James, Robert, Smith. Alyssa, Leanne, Sorensen. Hannah, Christina, Sormaz. Robert, Dean, Spangler. Hannah, Marie, Spence. Grace, Ellen, Sperry. Gabriel, Norman, Stacy. Sean, Evan, Cutlip, Stacy. Alejandro, Ramon, Stafford. Jamie, Nicole, Stegman. Johnny, Thomas, Stemple. Trevor, James, Stern. Alexandra, Rami, Stetzer. Dejan, Thrice, Stewart. Anthony, Michael, Stone. Allison, Elizabeth, Stout. Colin, Soon. Avril, Fitzgerald, Marie, Sutherland, Wagner. Aaliyah, Marie, Zoika. John, Anthony, Tagliorini. Tajane, Tanara, Taylor. Kaylee, Marie, Turnovan. Megan, Tamtui, Tai. Michael, Daniel, Thies. Kayla, Christine, Thomas. Zachary, Nolan, Thomas. Yanissa, Thongreko. Jesse, Donald, Tomko. Renata, Persephone, Torres Dominguez. Joshua, Michael, Townsend. Nam, Trung, Tran. Joshua, David, Treadway. Zoe, Alexis, Trayer. Hannah, Marie, Tucker. Matthias, Tuominen. Anthony, Robert, Turner. Brianna, Marie, Turner. Kyla, Carrie, Turner. Kaylee, Tyler. Caden, James, Ullman. Amelia, Bay, Urbanic. Caitlin, Ann, Ussery. Priscilla, Christina, Kalanta, Valdez. Alyssa, Young, Val. Tressa, Marie Belukovic. Angelina, Ida, Vance. Hannah, 
June, Van Gilder. Hallie Elise Vargo. Tristan John Vecchio. Deliana Vega. Olivia Lee Villa Real. Chase Blake Vanalek. Saeed Maher Wadan. Dade Michael Walker. Serena Rose Walker. Alana Nicole Warbach. Kishana Danae Ward. Layla Nicole Guerra. Elijah David Washburn. Jada Dejanay Nicole Washington. Austin Joseph Watkins. Molly Jane Weaver. Gerald John Wexner III. Liana Rose Wexner. Caden Randall Wendling. DeAndre Lamar Wheat. Emma Hallie Whipple. Kylie Mackenzie White. Natasha Elizabeth Whitfield. Christian Alexander Wilcox. Abigail Claire Wilson. Alexis Patricia Wilson. Andrew Robert Wilson. Emily Jean Winstead. Franklin Mark Winter. Lindsay Ann Wodzis. Maeve Gray Warman. Luke Howard Wolak. Kayla Tiffany Wood. Andrew Justin Woods. Dylan Joseph Woods. John Michael Wozencraft. K. Ming Yi Jr. Gabriel Keldon Yai. Angelina Renee Youngstein. Alexander Nicola Zabora. Julia Renee Zalecki. Anthony Michael Zanith. Michael Shamar Zarziki Hall. Noah James Stazar Odorsik. Zachary Nicholas Zalesnik. Joseph Maria Zeckler. Nathaniel Joseph Zindel. I would like to invite members of the Senior Class Executive Board to join me for the turning of the tassel. Please join me in the moment we've all been waiting for, the turning of the tassels. Let this symbolize the beginning of the rest of your lives. Would the Class of 2020 please stand? And now, move the tassel from the right side over to the left. Congratulations Class of 2020!